Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Hearts Fire 4 Modern Day Vatican City. And the Vatican City have expanded quite a bit. We have taken Montenegro and we have taken a couple small islands over here. Uh, let's see, St. George, Kingston and um, Castries. Um, unfortunately, this small, <laughs> this small island were stolen or half stolen from us by Franz by making him a puppet but well we got three, three out of four islands at least and uh, we also got our first tank division that looks kind of ugly let's just move him right over there and right we're gonna rename the tank division to something more something a bit more cooler and uh, you gave me a billion suggestions I was pr pretty much thinking five or ten people were gonna say something but I'm gonna mix up two suggestions some some people talked about like what it was, metal, iron, steel, and a bunch of people talked about, since I mentioned, should I reform the Roman Empire or the whole Roman Empire, talked about, well, different historical names. So why not combine two of them to steel, testudo. So let's just, I just put it forward so I don't definitely spell it wrong. So, um, so, st no, not P. Steel Testudo, and I think that's kind of fitting for what we're trying to do. So, yeah, let's save that, and we have our Steel Testudos. Let's just let the game run, and we'll see what to do. I don't actually have any real plans put forward right now. I'm a bit confused. What, what I will try to find is nations with very few divisions now. They're allowed to have some divisions, but I would like to have, like, six maybe at most. Oh, wait, wait, we will actually need one more tank division. Yeah, we'll need one more tank division, otherwise they can just very easily surround our their tank division and just crush them to sides. Yeah, even if we want to invade Albania, that would be the case. Yeah, we need two tank divisions. Alright, so let's just have the game running until something else happens. Because I think Albania is my first target. Sense resources, you yeah, have a couple of them, and let's see how much manpower. Yeah, that's very much decent, and I would like it. Uh, what's this? Millet demilitarized zone, alright. Okay, uh, I hadn't actually noticed that until now. So, is there any more small islands anywhere? Uh, Cuba? No. I probably look through these a couple of times. Haiti, you could be something that I would like to grab. Though I would need some navy oh right 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 i have to just mention that of course i can't deploy any ships because i don't have any land route to the sea uh i, I was from some reason thinking but i am in rome come on that that should give me no i'm not in rome i'm not like bordering the coast of course that's just plain stupid so we should definitely not well produce destroyers which just Produce convoys for now, until we find something better. Uh, you can be upgraded, please, and... I should probably start, at least start a line with uh, mechanized, so I don't actually forget about it, that we actually need them. But not just now, we still have some spared up. Yeah, we actually do, 40 of them. And that's not including the 200 we have saved up right there. Yeah, nice. Uh, you're right here, let's give you a commander, and right, someone gave me a really cool name for these ones too. Uh, fallen Angels. Well, they're kind of fitting actually, the Fallen Angels, Paratroopers, but it's still the Swiss Guard, so I kind of want to keep that name. So, if we, for the future, make a, make a Paratroop Division, we will just rename, uh, switch this back to a normal division and make a new one called Fallen Angels. And... Uh, uh, Kosovo gains independence. Kosovo has been practically out of service with division since 1990s, but local representatives declared that Kosovo shall now be a republic of its own. Create an army. Uh, create an army? They don't have an army right now. We could do stuff like that. <laughs> so the Vatican City will embrace them and let them join in the glorious Vatican expansion of the world. A new country enters the world stage and they are all being justified. In 65 days they will die because well no divisions. Let's see how good is the area. They have almost 2 million manpower. They have 2 oil and well 4 military factories and 3 civilians. So we'll get half of that. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. 
Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Come, I, I had no clue that this would happen, actually. <laughs> okay, excellent start of this episode. So, where can we continuously expand after this? I was looking for Africa, but most of them have quite a bit of troops. Like, I could invade these nations, but yeah, one, two divisions. I want two divisions. The United States expels us from NATO. Uh, how about me letting you how about me joining nato again yeah thank you thank you oh, i understood it was just a misunderstanding you were supposed to send someone else out and you accidentally sent the papers to the vatican city oh i'm getting kind of tired about that so uh natural focus natural focus yes i was going for resources right that was pretty power and stability actually two plus stability let's go for that one i want to have my stability raised until amazing so that would be kind of cool if we could get that one and people also talked about me maybe lowering conscription law just because of production and that might be something to think about hmm we will lose 13% recruitment that might make it even impossible for us to deploy our second tank division and that would be spending 600 political power and that's a bit too much like, I would spend 300. If it works, great. If it don't work, then I would re-raise it again. And that would be all my political power, which I might want to do. F Actually, what do I want to use it for? If not trying out stuff like that. I don't know. I don't actually see any reason to not, e not try it out. Okay, let's go for to service by requirement. Ooh, cool. Alright, that works really, really well for me. And that should give us lots more tanks. Actually, almost two more every single week, I think. Yeah, I approve of that. Thank you. Thank you for that suggestion. So, how many more days before we declare war upon you? Another 30 days. That single tank should just go straight for it and just take more very, very quickly. Uh, why can we see... Oh, right, because we're with NATO. I was some reason thinking, why do we have fog of war completely off? Uh, let's see. Iraq... You are still holding on really well and actually pushing out, so I definitely approve of that one. And uh, let's see, should we? Is this Roma? No, is this Romanian troops? That's definitely Romanian flag. Uh, I don't. Actually, there's a slight, slight difference between those two nations. The yellow area is tiny, tiny bit larger on this nation than that one. Than Romania. <laughs> well, at least they're creative. Instead of increasing two lines, they just increased the small line, middle line a tiny bit, and like our flag. So, Vatican City, they was full. For Ampli Power, we are actually doing quite well now. We will soon really just get on a roll and start taking over. Like, when we have two tank divisions, that means we can take over many, many, many more smaller nations. Because however their armies are set up, we should be able to beat any kind of division one on one. And I think I might actually, when we have our second tank division, just increase these ones a tiny bit more. Let's say, I don't know, maybe something like this. Yeah, that would actually be a really nice one. That would only require slightly more in everything. And I think that might be the first real goal to do. So, Vatican City goes to war once again. And let's go straight for the capital. Don't get invited, don't get invited, don't get invited. Excellent! Yeah! Really, really, really good. Just annex them completely and a new nation was born. And fell 65 days later. Sorry about that. But yeah, your military factories and civilian factories were really nice and tasty to have. So seven every year. <laughs> That's not a lot. And now we desperately need, we probably need even three tank divisions now if we want to beat Albania. But Croatia. You are very, very, very thin. But that would mean killing Bosnia too. I think our next target is someone, one of these two. Two divisions right here going in and killing Niger. And then probably uh, you take a couple of nations small here. Yeah, our second tank division. So you go down to the port and then you start transferring over. Actually, 
how to supply right here. Really, really bad. And you should not send in my tanks there until actually both of them are done. So let's just send you right here. And you will stay there waiting for your reinforcements, which is this division. And let's just do one because that's all I need or all I want for now. You need another, let's see, 140 tanks. I can just hold right here. Come on. 131 more tanks. And that should be it. So traditional values or not. Let's not. Let's do the resources right, right now. Brave power trooper. Um, United States expels from NATO once again. <laughs> I think we're going to see that pop up quite often right now. Well, Pope Paul, he can't be resisted. He just begs a bit to God and allows us into the NATO, NATO once again. And it seems like Norway gave up their land to Portugal in exchange for getting uh, the Egyptian lands. Well, I, I guess it's fair. But can we do anything right here? It would be nice if we could get some war score from this. Let's see how supply right here. Okay, extremely bad, but it's still pretty good right here. So, if I tell you to... Where's my division? Right here. If I would tell you to just... Hmm. Yeah, let's strategically deploy all the way right here. And I want to see how good you can do against these. Like, can I grab that city? Because that would give some war score to me. And, well, I can maybe take something in the peace deal if... It ever becomes a peace deal because Iraq seems to be doing really, really well, and they might even take over Turkey if things goes as they're currently going. And yeah, my tank is just really, really slow, and we are expelled once again. This time I probably wait until wait. Ex right, our troops just became exiled because well, we were expelled from NATO. Where are they? Where are my troops? Come on. Let's just return because I'm taking quite heavy attrition right now and that's really bad for my tank production. Because the more tanks that are destroyed, the longer it will take before we actually... Oh god, five tanks really? I lost that many. That's an entire week I think. Yeah. One week. I just threw away one week. One week of waiting time. I'm sorry. Oh, we have one more extra resource to actually do. So, what are you missing most critically? 26 oil and 13 chromium. Let's grab one more oil. Yes, I don't care. And this 5.2 becomes... Still 5.2? Really? Weren't we at 5.2? I'm pretty sure we were at 5.2. We gained nothing? I must be really confused today. But you were missing 13 oil. So how is this possible? Let's just drag this down once again to 24. You're not missing anything. What happens if I start trading chromium? Chromium. Uh, chromium right here. Let's trade for double. And that's 6.7. So we definitely needed chromium more than... Right, no? No, I don't know why. But this definitely is beneficial to us. So we'll trade chromium instead of oil. Alright, what more can we now research? A lot of ahead of time stuff. We've already done it. Let's see, you are pretty much done but let's do maintenance a bit ahead of time you have maintenance excellent because well as i said tanks expensive and i don't have that much how much manpower do i actually get from this post uh let's see we gain 2000 nice that's pretty good that's pretty good and now we're back at 600 so yeah i was maybe overestimating how much that Potentially would damage us if we lost those 300 blue power or 600. Uh, we could also go for Tunisia if we got that second tank division. We go on straight. We go in straight here and then defend these two provinces with the other tank division. And once you have brought this, actually that will just open up even more fronts. No, we cannot go for Tunisia right now. It would be 
Let's see. I don't know, actually. Yeah, Niger or Shad, or both of them, one one by one, of course. Uh, let's see, steel factories. Why can't do steel factories? More than nine fact, more more than nine civilian factories. Really? I need more than nine and require steel factory. Oh, I never, I never noticed those requirements. God damn it! All right, what else can we do? Uh, international alliances. All oh, right, we're gonna go down this path, I think, for the extra experience and the armor experience gain. Yeah, sure, cool. Sixty-eight main battle tanks. Come on, I want to have one war, at least a war. And yeah, both of you should still be. Pretty, pretty easy for me to take down. And if not, I can always call in the entirety of NATO upon them. So I always have that ace in the... Ace, I always have that ace saved up. Hmm. What's expression now in English? For some reason it escapes me, but... Or maybe that's not... Ex I Maybe it's not the expression in English. In Swedish, we can say that we have S-set i rockarmen, which is basically you have an ace up your shirt arm, which means you always have something special, something, your triumph, triumph card, your triumph card to play out if you have to. But, um, yeah. So, maybe that's not expression in English. Please write down below and just tell me if it's expression or I'm really confused with Swedish and English expressions right now. So, uh, this is gonna take another, let's say, oh, actually one every single day, then that's very easy to say, that's gonna take less than 50 days, which means we can declare war upon someone. So, who do I want to declare war upon? Both of you are reasonable the same, you have slightly less divisions, uh, so what are your factions? Conservative, reactionary, so, let's see, you are... Reactionary, so you might actually join the CSTO if I declare war upon you. Just looking about the faction, because I don't think you want to join the Islamic faction right here. Or actually, that was that nationalist. For some reason, I was thinking they were the faction leader once again. No, I don't think you want to join the nationalist, but you will probably, probably join the CSTO. So I want to declare war on Niger just to avoid that. Hopefully, and that's gonna take 65 days, which is perfect. How much man? Uh, how much supply do you take? Tank division 1.52, and this area has three in supply. So yeah, you can go straight here. Let's delete all the orders actually, and then just make a new one like this. No, like this. Yeah, that's fine. And this division please deploy right there and that should be two divisions and that should be it I think we can do it with two divisions the United States had called in Israel as the American Afghan war okay but Kingdom of Jordan is still in the way for you to have a two-pronged attack upon Iraq and Iraq is just beating the crap out of Turkey right now They're just marching in straight ahead Turkey is not getting any help from <laughs> Is that because they have completely screwed up the supply right here? No, the supply is fine at frontline. It's not fine where they have the troops stationed. So, uh, yeah. That's weird. You are very soon done in 32 days. Oh, actually, that would actually force us to deploy our tanks ahead of time. But now when I have pulled them in for it, I'm pretty sure, if, well, I have to do it. Sure, let's accept a bunch of non-aggression packs, just in case, and then, well, join the alliance once again. They might be useful in the future. Do we have actually anything right here that could be good? No, question gentlemen, improve relationship opinion, yes, yeah, sure, that could actually be useful. We have, have we used it? No, we could use it. Actually, let's try. Let's try to use it on United States. See if we can improve the relationship so much so the event can't fire, because that would be kind of helpful. And you should basically have your tanks now, 97%, let's deploy them, and then you can reinforce the rest on the way. 
29 tanks and you are at war with me in 30 days so that should be perfect if you don't lose half your tanks on the way there no it was fine and supply right here one let's see yeah 3.03 and hopefully no allies will intervene we will have to call in portugal to this war but other than that i think we should be fine and china declared war upon india that's interesting the Asian Association declared war upon India. India, oh crap, this is going to be a really big world war. Holy Christ. I did not mean to make all of these holy god, holy Christ jokes, but I should probably do it. Um, could join the Asian Association of Workers. Alright. Hong Kong joined the Asian Association of Workers. So basically these two cities. Makaku. What did I say first? I have no clue. And this is another... Well, maybe if they are at war, Russia won't actually fear us as much. But I wonder who would actually win. Let's see. Let's analyze. India has more troops, less military factories, less of an air force. Both have nukes. Uh, more civilian factories or to China too. So I would give the initial advantage to India, but if China just managed to hold on long enough, China will win. Hands down. And I actually want... Actually, can you attack right here? I think you might... Yeah, you should be able to do it. Let's just double check. That should be possible, yeah. Egypt has capitulated. Alright, interesting. Uh, both of you are both of you assigned to this front. Cool, and let's declare the war. Vatican City go declares war. Let's take both of your divisions. Come on, both of the divisions. All right, because we can't, we haven't called in you yet. And now we can attack them. And that's going really, really, really bad for us. Actually, we are winning. Oh wait, wait, what the hell happened? Oh, it's just a bunch of people who wants to join right now. And as I guess, they are not pulling in anyone else. They're getting a billion non-aggression packs from all the nations we are all at war with. But right now it's going quite fine. And yeah, this is what I kind of expected. Their troops, there are more troops than us. They're probably, well, they probably have more manpower, reserved, like everything. But we have the super important advantage which is heavy tanks much armor and well the push and we are expelled from nato once again how about how about us joining nato oh thank you uh both tank divisions please pull in right here come on we need to go around them and grab the capital or at least surround their units or somehow do something how long before you actually arrive God, 17% attrition. This is going to cost us heavy in tanks. And you please stack right here. So we can... Well, if they push in right here, we surround them. If they don't, we'll see. Romania, join NATO. Okay. Come on, push in right here and then go straight here. What the hell is that? Black. Alright, if the order... Let's see if we can do this. This might be a bit risky, but I think I wanna. I think I might gain from doing it. Either we fail in doing it, but I think we can do quite fine. Um, no, no, I don't need anyone. I, I only need myself right now. Come on, let's do this. They're attacking me constantly, so we might have to break them right here in the middle, just to push them back. Or not. Come on. I want you to continue all this way, and I want you... Come on. Really? Expelling us once again, and you have lost basically all your organization. No. No. What you You're only supposed to do what I tell you. And you need to grab a city now, because supplies are going to get really, really tight right here. And if supplies are tight, that might very much spell the ending on me. Come on, just get in here, grab that. Please? And somehow we arrived at the same position as them. Come on, just break that. Just break it. Just break it. Grab the city. Cool. Very good. Very, very, very good. 
Let's see, supply, you are fine with supply right now. Let's just break that now too. Which means we are really good in supply. Let's break their entire army while you push right here. One tank should really... What? What? What's going on right now? That's occupied by us. That's occupied by Portugal. Something is really weird right now. Uh, can you please attack that? You are bringing that nation back. What? <laughs> Something is really weird with this occupation right now. So, we are there, but not really there. And we are having... We should be done, basically, with this. Invite... Oh, right, because the faction invites stuff. Oh, that explains it. That explains it. We were dis... We were thrown away from NATO, and that destroyed our supply. That destroyed who occupies what nation. Oh, right. I was extremely confused for a short while there. <laughs> but yeah, everything is working now. We will just do the final push to bring down Niger. And that would be actually quite a big victory for us. Let's see, we should have all the war score. Portugal, yeah, you have nothing. Good. Let's just go in and grab the capital right now. And we should be missing quite a bit of tanks right now. We're missing mechanized and we're missing tanks. Tanks, not so bad. Mechanized, yeah, kind of bad. So we, I want... Not a maybe full line of it. Uh, mistakes were made. You up. You down. I want at least five on you. And I think that might be possible after we brought down Niger. No. A bunch of people wanting military access. I don't care. Both your divisions. Bring that down. Let's see. This is two provinces. Right? So one right here. One stay. Thank you, come on, just break. And then attack at the same time. And uh, we have decryption advantage, nice. Uh, the one thing they have really going for them is this massive, massive river. And that just gives us huge penalties, let's see. 78% attack and 60% breakthrough. But basically they can't do any damage against us, we do quite a bit of damage on them, even though all of the heavy penalties, so... I think this should be fine. And um, Portugal, come on. Ask for control of state. Let's give me that. Can I ask for more? This is kind of abusive. But I'm definitely gonna use it. So I can ask for territory they occupy from another war. Because they have much more war score in this war. Let's just ask for that now. Okay, they did not want to <laughs> give it. Maybe I ask for a tiny bit too much. Let's see if we can fix that. Uh, when can we send a new request? Hmm. Okay, it might just have been bugged right... Oh, wait. We, ten we can ask for... Okay, I'm be be At least we should be able to ask for the ones that we still... Sh okay, they accepted this. Vatican City. Portugal, would you accept even more? Because this is now factories. Or actually, not factories. At all. Some manpower at least. And resources apparently. Oh, lots and lots of resources that we're now getting that we shouldn't actually be able to get. You will accept that. You will accept this. Okay. I can accept. I can take three more states. Let's see. Which are the best ones? Uh, I want that steel. I uh, want that oil. And let's just grab this. Yeah, those three actually. It's actually, this province is. A Oh wait, are you, yeah, you're occupied by that state and these two and see if that's possible and that one you will accept and they accepted so we just gained a bunch of resources and a bunch of manpower and let's see, oil we are importing quite a bit but we are now at least at surplus uh, we are getting zero delivery blocked Oh, right, right, because, oh, that's kind of harsh, actually, if you think about it. Uh, we can't take everything. Oh, they must have done something, God damn it! So, let's just grab the important stuff. You are kind of more important than that duration. So, let's just grab this. No, we can't. Let's grab that. No, okay, we bet better just grab both of that and then end it with this last province. Cool, at least we got everything, but... Right, I won't actually get any of these resources because I don't have a route to my capital. 
Wait, wait, I'm getting that. So why don't I get this? Really? Wait, that should be the same with trade then. How can I get trade if... Okay, let me just double check this now. I'm getting a tiny bit confused. Uh, state modifier, delivery blocked. We have the superiority here, right here. I might just have a complete mind blank once again. Why I don't... Maybe it's... I'm getting this re re these resources, right? Yeah. I'm getting those resources. So, um, can anyone tell me why I'm drawing blank now? Why I don't get these resources? We should have complete control over this sea. Hmm, weird. But anyway, um, we are in a super good position right now. Let's just double check. We are producing five of these. We have one full line right here. And I think I want to add one more on tanks right now. So, like this, but you can have low prior. Let's see, how many factories can we... Nine factories trade with. This is beautiful. So, we're going to fix the oil we need. Uh, minus... Oil we need, minus one. Uh, we are gonna see aluminium, we have enough of. Chromium, we need more of, so let's fix that too. And steel, steel we definitely need more of. And that was nine divisions, let's see. Is there anything we're trading steel that we don't really need steel for? No, I'm completely fine with all of this. Actually, rubber. Okay, let's remove one steel and get rubber for that instead. Minus one, and rubber, rubber, rubber. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Uh, we're now missing... Wait, are we missing tanks? No, we're upgrading tanks, that's why. And we're missing 72 of these. Cool. Anyway, um, this was a fun episode. We managed to expand quite a bit. We had a nice little surprise right here with um, Witch Nation Botic. Uh, Kosovo, who just appeared and disappeared really quickly. We managed to expand right here and ask Portugal for lots of more territory. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like, subscribe and all that nice stuff. If you subscribe, press the bo bell button because apparently that helps. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye and bye.